this typewriter broke. This video is covering two of my favorite things. This music is by Carolyn Shaw and probably copyrighted, so I'm going to get in trouble, but it's my new favorite thing. And this is my cat, Oliver. And we're going to be talking today about the Oliver and also about Willa Cather, who used an Oliver in the early 20th century. This is a Oliver that I picked up in a antique store where they had used polyurethane spray to spray everything. So it's pretty much all stuck. And I'm slowly taking it apart. And I bought the thing because it had the cores for the spools and it had uh, ribbon covers. And that's what I wanted and they would not piece it out and so I got the whole thing and I'm trying to take it apart see if I can resurrect it. Here's another Oliver 3 and it actually works. I saw it and the whole thing works. I've cleaned it up, redid the, the wood base some shellac on that. I got a new ribbon. There are a few problems we'll go over. Before I do that though, I'll show you the case. The case was pretty beat up. And, uh, but it has, it has the hooks on the side and they work with the base and I can actually hold it. I, Got a new um, handle so I can pick it up by that and it actually, well it's very heavy. You don't really want to carry it around too much. But it all cleaned up pretty well. This was all bashed in and I sort of, you know, tried to bend it back out a little bit and it's better than it was. So clearing all the polyurethane went away. We can have a closer look at the working model. Um, it's, it's in terrific shape. I think it was not well used. Um, the keys are all in good shape, no wear. I tried to clean them up without, you know, damaging anything too much. The ribbon vibrator works fine. I got a new ribbon, which is a unique dimension. It's not half inch, it's a little bit less than that. So it all fits under here just right when you get the right size. Unfortunately, I got a, a silk, um, and then I learned that uh, cotton might have been a better choice because um, the type bars hit very hard and you can see it wears holes in the in the uh, ribbon and this hole and ribbon problem is addressed by the vintage type YouTube he's got lots of videos about how to adjust Oliver's but he said this spring here is something that can be adjusted. I can't get these things to to move. I jammed a little bit of uh, tape in there to limit limit the spring action and it seemed to help a little bit. 
the other tip he had was to use several several uh, layers of paper in you know when you put in your paper and that does too sort of cushion it a little bit changing out the platen if you were going to use this for actual typing a lot you would want to probably change the platen but since that's not really my plan I enjoy that it works and wouldn't have bought it if it didn't work. You know, whoever's the next owner could easily get the platen replaced and maybe have a little less trouble. And also a cotton ribbon might help. So I'll do a type test. But first, let's talk about Willa Cather, who used an Oliver and probably was using an Oliver when she wrote the piece that we're going to discuss here, Alexander's Bridge. It was her first novel, not her best. She didn't like it. She thought it was, in retrospect, not a good start. And she followed on by O Pioneers and My Antonia. But Alexander's Bridge takes up the role of women in an interesting way. And it's about a engineer who fails, fails in many ways. He has a somewhat boring life with a wife, goes to Europe, and reconnects with an old flame. So this is the final scene with his old flame, Hilda. No, you are mistaken. I've been up in Canada with my bridge, and I arranged not to come to New York until after you'd gone. And when your manager added two more weeks, I was already committed. He dropped upon a stool in front of her and sat with his hands hanging between his knees. What am I to do, Hilda? That's what I wanted to see you about, Bartley. I'm going to do what you asked me to do when you were in London. Only I'll do it more completely. I'm going to marry. Who? Oh, it doesn't matter much. One of them. Not, not Mac. I'm too fond of him. Alexander moved restlessly. Are you joking, Hilda? Indeed, I'm not. Then you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I know very well. I've thought a great deal, and I've quite decided. I never used to understand how women did things like that, but I know now. It's because they can't be at the mercy of a man they love any longer. Alexander flushed angrily. So it's better to be at the mercy of a man you don't love? Under such circumstances, infinitely. Isn't that wonderful, not being at the mercy of the man she loves? Here's the type sample of lowercase. And it's fairly decent alignment. These are hard to adjust because it's a balance between um, having these type bars sticking on one on another because they they can interfere with each other. I had problems with the uh, E and the X on this side. Now it's cleared up. But what you see is when these middle ones interfere with each other and get stuck on each other, what I found was I had to make the problem go all the way up to the top so that there was room to adjust this out. And so I made more problems for myself on the way up with trying to get them not to stick, which, you know, doesn't even start to get the alignment perfectly right. So it's, it's a balance uh, between having a functioning unit and having a uh, perfect alignment. Now there's also alignment between lowercase, uppercase, and figures. And, um, let's see.
these aren't too bad in terms of alignment. The uh, um, you know the A's are fairly close. That's close. The J, capital J, is a little bit high. You know, so if we did capital J. Yeah, that that's not terrible. The the A is a little off. Maybe it could could work on that a little bit. But it's a balance, and this is from 1905, probably. It's a it's a number three all over. So. You know there are there are limits, and also you can see how the uh, ribbon is degrading. It's it's moving. I thought at first it wasn't moving. It moves, but it's just uh, getting torn up by the type bars. So I suppose I need a. A cotton ribbon, maybe, um, and a new platen, and maybe more padding, something softer than the three sheets I've got going here. But that's the Oliver.